Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel on this new video. It's been a minute since I uploaded so today we are going to talk about another topic and this topic may be very useful to some people. We are going to talk about cryptocurrency. So without any further ado, let's get right into the video. What is cryptocurrency and how does it work? We're going to learn about cryptocurrency its meaning and definition first. Cryptocurrency, sometimes called cryptocurrency or crypto, is any form of currency that exists digitally or virtually and uses cryptography to secure transactions. Cryptocurrencies don't have a central issuing or regulating authority instead of using decentralized system to recall transactions and issue new units. Now let's get into detail about what is cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrency is a digital payment system that doesn't rely on banks to verify transaction. It's a peer-to-peer -peer system that can enable anyone anywhere to send and receive payments. Instead of being physical money carried around and exchanged in the real world, Cryptocurrency payments exist purely as digital entries to an online database describing specific transactions. When you transfer cryptocurrency funds and transactions are recorded in a public ledger, cryptocurrency is stored in a digital wallet. Cryptocurrency received its name because it uses encryption to verify transactions. This means advanced coding is involved in storing and transmitting cryptocurrency data between wallets and to public ledgers. The aim of encryption is to provide security and safety. The first cryptocurrency was Bitcoin, which was founded in 2009 and remains the best known today. Much of the interest in cryptocurrencies is to trade for profit with speculators at times driving prices skyward. Now we have a background to what cryptocurrency actually is, let's get into how does cryptocurrency actually work. Cryptocurrency is run on a distributed public ledger called blockchain, a record of all transactions updated and held by currency holders. Units of cryptocurrency are created through a process called mining, which involves using computer power to solve complicated mathematical problems that generate coins. Users can also buy the currencies from brokers, then store and spend them using cryptographic wallets. If you own cryptocurrency, you don't own anything tangible. What you own is a key that allows you to move a record or a unit of measure from one person to another without a tested third party. Although Bitcoin has been around since 2009, cryptocurrencies and applications of blockchain technology are still emerging in financial terms, and more uses are expected in the future. Transactions including bonds, stocks, and other financial assets could eventually be traded using technology. Cryptocurrency Examples There are thousands of cryptocurrencies, some of the best known include Bitcoin. Founded in 2009, Bitcoin was the first cryptocurrency and is still the most commonly traded. The currency was developed by Satoshi Nakamoto, widely believed to be a pseudonym for an individual or group of people whose precise identity remains unknown. After Bitcoin, of the most best known includes Ethereum. Developed in 2015, Ethereum is a blockchain platform with its own cryptocurrency called Ether, ETH, or Ethereum. It is the most popular currency after Bitcoin. After that is Litecoin. This currency is most similar to Bitcoin but has moved more quickly to develop new innovations including faster payments and processes to allow more transactions. Following Litecoin is Ripple. Ripple is a distributed ledger system that was founded in 2012. Ripple can be used to track different kinds of transactions, not just cryptocurrency. The company behind it has worked with various banks and financial institutions. Non-Bitcoin cryptocurrencies are collectively known as altcoins to distinguish them from the original. Now let's move on to buying cryptocurrency. How to buy cryptocurrency? You may be wondering how to buy cryptocurrency safely. There are typical three steps involved. These are Step 1. Choosing a platform. The first step is deciding which platform to use. 
Generally, you can choose between a traditional broker or dedicated cryptocurrency exchange. Traditional Brokers These are online brokers who offer ways to buy and sell cryptocurrency as well as other financial assets like stocks, bonds, and ETFs. These platforms tend to offer lower trading costs but fewer crypto features. Cryptocurrency Exchanges There are many cryptocurrency exchanges to choose from, each offering different cryptocurrencies, wallet storage, interest-bearing account options, and more. Step 2. Funding your account Once you have chosen your platform, the next step is to fund your account so you can begin trading. Most crypto exchanges allow users to purchase crypto using the example government-issued currencies such as the US dollar, the British pound, or the euro using their debit card or credit cards, although this varies by platform. Crypto purchases with credit cards are considered risky, and some exchanges don't support them. Some credit card companies don't allow crypto transactions either. This is because cryptocurrencies are highly volatile, and it is not as visible to risk going into debt or potentially paying high credit card transaction fees for certain assets. Some platforms will also accept ACH transfers and buy transfers, the accepted ma payment methods, and time taken for deposits or withdrawals differ per platform equally. Step 3. Placing an order. You can place an order via your broker's or exchange's web or mobile platform if you are planning to buy cryptocurrencies. You can do so by selecting buy, choosing the order type, entering the amount of cryptocurrencies you want to purchase, and confirming the order. The same process applies to sell orders. How to store cryptocurrency? Once you have purchased cryptocurrency, you need to store it safely to protect it from hacks or theft. There are different wallet providers to choose from. The terms Hot Wallet and Cold Wallet are used. Hot Wallet Storage Hot Wallets refer to crypto storage that uses online software to protect the private keys to your assets. Cold Wallet Storage Unlike Hot Wallets, Cold Wallets, also known as Hardware Wallets, rely on offline electronic devices to securely store your private keys. Typically, Cold Wallets tend to charge fees while Hots don't. After getting cryptocurrency, what can you buy with cryptocurrency? When it was first launched, Bitcoin was intended to be a medium for daily transactions, making it possible to buy everything from a cup of coffee to a computer or even big-ticket items like real estate. That hasn't quite materialized, and while the number of institutions accepting cryptocurrencies is growing, large transactions involving it are rare. Even so, it is possible to buy a wide variety of products. From e-commerce websites using crypto, here are some examples. Technology and e-commerce sites Several companies that sell tech products accept crypto on their websites, such as NewVec.com, AT&T, and Microsoft over stock and e-commerce platform, was among the first sites to accept Bitcoin. Shopify, Rakuten, and Home Depot also accepted luxury goods. Some luxury retailers accept crypto as a form of payment. For example, online luxury retailer BitDials offer Rolex, Patek Philippe, and other high-end -end watches just in return for Bitcoin. Cars Some car dealers from mass market brands to high-end luxury dealers already accept cryptocurrency as payment. Insurance In April 2021, Swiss insurer AXA announced it had begun accepting Bitcoin as a mod EX of payment for all its lines of insurance except life insurance. Now let's get into cryptocurrency fraud and cryptocurrency scams. Unfortunately, cryptocurrency crime is on the rise. Cryptocurrency scams include fake websites, Google sites which feature fake testimonials and crypto jargon promising massive guaranteed returns provided so you keep investing. Virtual Ponzi Schemes 
cryptocurrency criminals promote non-existent opportunities to invest in digital currencies and create the illusion of huge returns by paying off old investors with new investors money one scam operation bit club network raised more than 700 million dollars before its perpetrators were indicated in december 2019 next one is celebrity endorsements scammers pose online as billionaires or well-known names who promise to multiply your investment in a virtual currency but instead steal what you send if you want to know more about these fraud and scams to keep you safe then visit the link below in the description so then a question arises is cryptocurrency safe cryptocurrencies are usually built using blockchain technology Blockchain describes the way transactions are recorded into blocks. In time step, it's a fairly complex technical process, but the result is a digital ledger of cryptocurrency transactions that's hard for hackers to tamper with. In addition, transactions require a two-factor authentication process. For instance, you might be asked to enter a username and password to start a transaction. Then, you might have to enter an authentication code sent via text to your personal cell phone. Now let's learn about 4 tips to invest in cryptocurrency safely. According to consumer reports, all investments carry risk, but some experts consider cryptocurrency to be one of the riskier investment choices out there. If you are planning to invest in cryptocurrencies, these tips can help you make educated choices. Research Exchanges Before you invest, Learn about cryptocurrency exchanges. It is estimated that there are over 500 exchanges to choose from. Do your research, read reviews, talk with more experienced investors before moving on. Know how to store your digital currency. If you buy a cryptocurrency, you have to store it. You can keep it on an exchange or in a digital wallet. While there are different kinds of wallets, each has its benefits, technical requirements, and security. As with exchanges, you should investigate your store choices before investing. Diversify your investments. Diversification is key to any good investment tragedy. And this holds true when you are investing in cryptocurrency. Don't put all your money in Bitcoin. For example, just because that's the name you know, there are thousands of options and it's better to spread your investment across several currencies. Prepare for volatility. The cryptocurrency market is highly volatile, so be prepared for ups and downs. You will see dramatic swings in prices. If your investment portfolio or mental well-being can't handle it, cryptocurrency might not be a wise choice for you. Cryptocurrency is all the rage right now. But remember, it is still in its relative infancy and is considered highly speculative. Investing in something new comes with challenges, so be prepared. If you plan to participate, do your research and invest conservatively to start. One of the best ways you can stay safe online is by using a comprehensive antivirus. Casper Sky Internet Security defends you from malware infection spyware. Data theft and protects your online payments using bank grade encryption. So, we have discussed about cryptocurrency, also its usage and safety, and many other qualities. I hope you guys found this video useful and interesting plus informative. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!